Unlike a donut, you won't find any holes in our reporting because we are the hole. We call those Timbits up here. It makes way more sense than a don't, donut hole. It's just too long. The main treat media. What? <laughs> Apple is gearing up to defend itself against yet another lawsuit over its iOS app store after a US federal judge rejected Cupertino's bid to dismiss a suit filed by the makers of third party iPhone app That's store. That's a double negative, City. Riley. I didn't write it. Actually, I did write that. I did. The judge is actually Yvonne Gonzalez Rogers, the same judge from the Apple v Epic case. Did you know that, James? I do now. There you go. The case is extra interesting because Cydia is an app store providing software specifically for jailbroken iOS devices. So Apple is probably extra mad about this. Apple tried to argue that the complaint fell outside the statute of limitations. In other words, that Cydia waited too long to file it, but Judge Rogers more or less told Apple to get that ish out of here. I did not write that. Ish? Ish. I like it. Cydia is alleging that Apple's iOS updates unfairly harmed software distributors by attempting to lock them out and is seeking both money damages and an injunction barring Apple from excluding third-party app stores. Basically, the same thing Epic wants and the thing that might happen if the Open App Markets Act keeps getting advanced through the US legislative branch. It's only a matter of time, Apple. Those walled garden walls are getting Busted open. Those walled walls are going down. They use very thick shrubbery. We just, <laughs> explosives. Speaking of Apple, they now have a name for their upcoming VR and AR headset operating system, Reality OS. It's a whole new walled garden. It's that you very don't... meta. <laughs> you never have to leave. It's reality. The revelation comes after trademark filings from a company called Reality O Systems. <laughs> which is widely believed to be an Apple shell company that uh, rather poorly obscured Apple's intentions. The trademark is the latest chapter in the long saga, 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 of Apple trying to get its headset off the ground as design issues and office politics have already delayed the headset for years. But another report recently indicated that Apple's developers have shown a prototype headset to the company's board. So it looks like we'll finally have a first look at it either next year or later this year. 2024, man, the display tech ain't there. Or maybe never. It's expected to have processing power on par with a Mac, so hopefully it'll be worth the wait and at least provide some alternative to VR headsets made by the Lizard Man. You mean the other Lizard Man? No, I mean Bosk from Star Wars. Oh, that guy. <laughs> and there's a new top dog in the supercomputer world with the United States Frontier HPE Cray EX overtaking Japan's Fugaku. Are you speaking English? <laughs> Japan's is just called Fugaku. It might be second in the world now, but it knows who it is. Located at the Oak Ridge National Laboratory in Tennessee, the Frontier is powered by AMD Epic CPUs and Why consumes- Why Frontier? What did I say? Front frontier? I'm, I'm saying Frontier. The final Frontier. <laughs> what are we even talking? What is this story about? It's it consumes story. as much power as 50,000 gaming computers, 29 megawatts to be exact. So I'd quit complaining about your GPU needing a few hundred watts to play Vampire Survivors, okay? There are bigger problems in the world. Frontier is also notable for being the first exascale computer in the world, meaning it can hit over one quintillion floating point operations per second. You're making thanks, these words up. I, a little bit. And thanks to a water cooling system with 6,000 gallons of liquid coolant, 602,000 CPU cores, and 8 million GPU cores. The supercomputer will be operated by both the Department of Energy and the US Air Force, and I can't imagine the kind of frames they're getting. Now it's time for Quick Bits, brought to you by Manscaped and their ultra premium collection, the all-in-one skin and hair care kit for the everyday man and that covers every body part. We're talking butt, balls, and body, the holy trinity. That's right, the ultra premium kit has shampoo, body wash, hydrating spray, and deodorant to make man maintenance easier than ever. And in case you thought men couldn't care about negative impacts on the world, these products are cruelty-free, paraben-free, and vegan. <laughs> they only care about one kind of meat. Man meat, man meat, man flesh. So go to manscaped.com and use promo code TECH for 20% off your order plus free international shipping. Quick bits make me lose my mind, which is why we have to limit them to five. That's, it, it, things get weird. There's another solution out there for those of you with Alder Lake CPUs suffering from cooling issues. Thermal Grizzly is producing a contact frame that should allow coolers to sit properly on the integrated heat spreader. The Alder Lake lineup has become notorious for bending so that heat sinks don't make as much contact as they should. Various third-party solutions have been floating around, but Intel officially discourages their use. 
When they were a kid, a little CPU warping wasn't as big of a deal. We didn't make it. Just deal with it. I liked your Bauer. Hopefully Intel's next CPU lineup won't have the same problems. Codenamed Raptor Lake, it now appears that we can expect them out sometime in October, along with new motherboards headlined by the Z790 chipset. Raptor Lake should feature significant multi-threaded performance improvements and use DDR5 memory, just like AMD's Ryzen 7000, which is codenamed Raphael, which I'm sorry, it just doesn't sound as cool as Raptor Lake, so might just wait for Intel. Ninja Turtles! I like dinosaurs. Apple isn't the only company with a new headset coming soon. Sony's latest offering, the PlayStation VR 2, is reported to launch in the first quarter of 2023 with a million and a half units available, according to noted Apple analyst Ming-Chi Kuo, who apparently likes to notably analyze companies other than Apple from time to time, and I think that's great. It's good to branch out. What were, what were we talking about again? Oh, we were talking about PlayStation, and it looks like we have an end in sight to the rampant stock shortages of the console. Unfortunately, Sony doesn't expect PS5 stock to be back at normal levels until 2024. Sony has said that it's going to try and get their supplies and materials from multiple sources and also optimize delivery logistics to remedy the problem. All things they apparently were doing until just now? They didn't even know what was going on. They were busy playing their PSVR 2s. Come on! And Ford is now delivering the first F-150 Lightnings, notable for being the first mass market all electric pickup truck in the US. The first one delivered went to a Michigan man who works as a CTO at a startup who reportedly plans to use it for quote unquote hauling stuff. Personally, I think converting the bed into a jacuzzi would make more sense, but I guess driving wood around is fine too. You know, truck, you know, truck people like us, we know, we know what you do with that. City truck. Just hook a hook up to something and... <laughs> <laughs> That's all the truck stuff we have today, but come back on Wednesday for more hot tips about customizing your four-wheeled stallion. Hauling things, pull it... They, Gatling guns. You can pull it, you can put some... Apocalypse? Preparation? Gauss rifles. You want to know a truck guy?